In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply this dreamy star filter onto your footage inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So as you can see, we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and we've got some footage on our sequence. So this is nothing special. It's just a random clip of this tree here. And in order to begin with this effect, we first need to make a copy of this footage. So we need a few layers of this footage. So we're just going to go Command C or Control C if you're on Windows. We'll move over and Command V or Control V to paste. So you could do that a few times and then just drag that up. So you've got a video on video layer one, two and three. Or alternatively, if we delete those top two layers, you can hold the Option button if you're on Mac, drag that up and then release. And that should make a perfect copy of that video. So you want to make sure you've got three of these. Now we'll highlight those top two layers. We'll go into effects, search for directional blur. As you can see there, it's under blur and sharpen. We'll drop that onto those top two layers. And for now, we're just going to turn off the video on video layer three and just focus on the video on video layer two. Now, as you can see, we've got directional blur here. We first want to begin with blur length. So we'll pull this all the way up so we can start to see the effect in place. So go up to around 100. Then we'll do the direction to 90. So as you can see, this is a horizontal blur. And at the moment, it doesn't really look like much. But if we go into opacity blend mode and change the blend mode from normal to either overlay, soft light, hard light, vivid light, linear light, pin light or hard mix. It's up to you which one you choose here. But generally, I like to use overlay. Or I also like to use soft light. This does depend on the footage that you're using. As you can see, overlay looks a little bit contrasted. But if we have soft light, it doesn't feel as harsh. So as you can see, if we zoom all the way into our footage, we'll go 150. We're getting this nice blurring effect on our footage. And if we turn this off, you can see this is the before and this is the after. So that's looking really nice. We're getting this nice blooming highlight detail. It looks really nice. Of course, though, if you were to go for something like overlay, for example, you're really going to see that effect a bit more vividly than if you are on soft light. But I prefer the look of soft light because it feels a bit more dreamy in this example. So we'll go back up to fit and then we'll go on to our top layer. We'll go into direction of blur and we'll pull the blur length up to let's go 200 this time. And then you can either move the direction around if you want, but I'm going to keep it vertical. So I'll keep it at zero. We've got the second one on the horizontal and the top one on the vertical. And I think that would look nice. Then we'll go at normal and we can go for one of these again. So I'm going to go for overlay this time or again, we'll go soft light. And as you can see, if I zoom all the way into 150 and I go over to the top right of the frame, you'll notice just above this plant here, we're getting this nice motion streak filter here. If I turn off three, that disappears. But if I turn it back on, we're getting this really nice effect applied. Now, this effect won't look amazing on all footage. Some footage, this might not look right. And depending on the type of film that you're creating, this effect might just be a little bit too much. But applying this star like dreamy filter onto your footage using directional blur and a soft light blend mode is a really easy and really powerful way of doing so. So if you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you on the next video. See you there.